Oh, fuck you was like deleting it fast. I was deleting them fast as fuck. You bro. sure you deleted it? I'm hundred percent positive. I washed my hand, clicked that shit, and then deleted. All right, well we back on this video. <laughs> oh, fuck. Bro, what the we fuck back on this shit again, you, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I deleted the last <laughs> clip and we was talking for thirty fucking minutes. But all right, we going back into the Q and. Hey, bro. <laughs> Don't do that, bro. Because you did lose your keys, bro. Oh, yeah, I did lose my keys. All right, bro. Give, like... Cut me a little slack, bro. Please. Fuck. This nigga, bro. All right, so I, I got to move a little Life of a fucking time. content creator, bro. Right, see, a lot of niggas would have just quit. <laughs> I'm going to keep it's going. There's plenty of times I done fucking <laughs> had to redo a fucking video. All right, bro. well, I guess the ones we already answered, we can just answer them kind of fast. But what was or life? start somewhere where we did. Start on a question we didn't answer first to make it feel and then new. Go back down. Yeah, to kind of make it feel new. All right, bet. Hello. Hey, y'all. Uh, I'm making a video with Forrest, man. Q and A. Q and A action. Like y'all heard, I've been filming for a minute. I deleted everything on accident, but here we go again. And I know he got y'all dumbass. Anyways, Zafkil Nunez. New I hope I pronounced your name right. Asks, what got you into becoming an influencer? And what made it into career? I'm gonna let you go first. What got me into being an influencer? It only it just happened. I didn't plan on it. I just was getting on the internet. I like clothes. I like making stuff. I used to paint on fucking shoes and all type mm -hmm. of like creative shit. And then I loved it so much or liked it so much, whatever. But and I just kept doing it. And then eventually it turned into followers. It turned into people fucking with me. Yeah. And here I am. Um, that's what happens when you love something. You just stay consistent. It tur turns into something. Yeah, I think I was the same way. I was filming videos and stuff when I was a little kid, posting them on YouTube, not thinking nothing of it. I just thought it was something fun. Um, I really never think of it like, ooh, I'm gonna go try and be an influencer. I feel like everybody now is like, I'm gonna go try to be. Yeah, an I wonder influencer. what it. I wonder what it feels like to like say. Like, you don't have no followers or nothing, and you look at it and say, I'm going to try to do that. Yeah. I get it if it happened accidentally, and then now you're like, all right, let me keep this ball rolling. How can I turn it up? But, like, yeah. how does it feel to be like, I see my favorite influencer. I want to be that. I wonder what that feels like. Yeah. I don't really know what that shit like, but I don't know. That's what got me into being an influencer. Just creating, making videos, having fun. Like I like, I'm big on wanting to go back and look at shit. So it's just like, damn, I was doing that in 2017. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. That shit cringy now, but it was turnt because I was having fun at the time. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I guess it's the same as looking at a rapper or a sports yeah. player, and you're like, oh, I want to do that. I guess the same thing. And what made it into a career? What made it into a career for me was like realizing, okay, like this kid actually can like. You can move rooms around. You knew what your personality was. I felt like I was interesting and, like, I had good shit to say. So, I don't know. I kind of just started being a little more calculated with, like, okay, post at this time, film this. Make sure, like, for example, I'm sure y'all have never seen me work with nobody but him. And I got one video with Annie. Like, don't be just making yourself too accessible so now everybody didn't filmed with you and did it. It's easy to you get burned out quick like that, and that's just not the vibes, but I think that's really it. It made it into a career when you get an agent and start getting some deals, some real deals, somebody who market for you. Get what some you can do money for yourself. Get some money on. Uh, What hair care products do you use? I don't really have shit, honestly. I don't know. My I, braiders just do it. I use, I use tea tree oil, avocado oil, and olive oil did i say that i don't know but yeah this girl told me to use avocado and um and uh olive oil mm. i thought you only supposed to cook with that shit but she said you could use it for your hair <laughs> so i listened um listen to the pretty I girls miel 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 i think that's what it's called some girl just put me on that they you know, know like, about the hair shit for yeah, sure and, and I skincare will forever let them lead the way as far as that go yeah grocery shopping facts Zoika, Zoika asks my f your favorite music artist. Uh, I go first. Forrest Ripperton. Yeah, um, it is. No, I can't wait till like the end of the year music shit come out. I guarantee y'all like that shit gonna be probably top two. Probably I gotta drop some more songs though. But him, 
Probably I like Drake shit just cause Drake mad like versatile. I fuck with D Savage heavy. Why you naming all these rappers when you've been listening to all this non rapping music? I mean this that's just what I'm on recently. But my but favorite, your favorite, oh, favorite artist is Justin artist. Bieber. No, it's Justin Bieber. I fuck with Post Malone heavy. There we go. I like um Tame fuck and Paula. I like Harry Styles. I like If you could not if you could only listen to Five artists for the rest of your life. I can't do that. Five I, artists for the rest of your life. Justin Bieber's in there for show. Drake's in there for show. Mm. That's it, bro. Honestly, I know I'm missing somebody, and they're gonna be so mad. If they <laughs> they're gonna go to his to Apple Music to see. And they can't ever <laughs> came to see this, but like. I don't know, bro. I don't really have that. Because everything I like listening to be like just shit that come out of nowhere. So I don't know. I have no clue. Justin Bieber and Drake is a cool. Yeah, that's two. two. So for you, bro. My favorite artist? Yeah. Do the same thing you just did. I was about to say, check, bro. Come on, nigga. Memory card ain't got all day. My... My favorite artist is Baby Osama. Fuck no. Shout out Baby Osama. She the she goat. Hard though. I ain't gonna lie. She the goat. Shout out Baby That's Osama. Your answer for real. Favorite artist? Mm -hmm. Baby Osama. Artist? Mm -hmm. She the goat. Shout out Baby Osama. Oh God. Um. Oh, I like this question. I'm gonna let you go first though. I am Z A C B. Y'all got to pick better Instagram names, y'all. Or unless people call you Zekup, Zekup, Zekup. Maybe that's the name. Jacob. Tips for picking up girls. Fuck these hoes. I oh, my goodness. Listen, stop worrying about picking up girls. Go get some fucking money. The more money you get, the more work you put in, mm -hmm. it's easier to get girls. And you don't even got to worry about picking them up because they just going to come to you. Mm. So don't even worry about all that shit. Fucking invest into yourself, your knowledge, your fucking learn some shit. Learn how to help people. Learn how to create shit. Learn how to make some money on. And then everything else, all that girl shit is going to make everything easier. Stop worrying about these girls. Because a lot of y'all niggas be caught up in that shit. Mm -hmm. Y'all be so worried about, oh, where the hoes? Where the bitches? I don't want some girls. But you don't got no money. Mm -hmm. And you don't got no swag. None. So it's like, that just don't, it don't add up. So... The fact that you asked that question mean your mind is in the wrong place, young man. Go get some money. Mm. Go fucking work on yourself. Yep. Go call your mom, nigga. Yeah, and give your mom a hug. On God. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm usually on this spectrum, but I have to speak for this because it is a lot of weird ass niggas out there. And niggas who take advantage of girls because they don't know how to talk to girls. Like, you don't know how to talk to girls. You might slip something there or drink. That's weird, But that's though. what I'm saying. It's the era we in, bro. I'm that's trying weird. to tell you, bro. That's why girls... If you on that spectrum, you need, to, day, you need to bro. move to fucking another place and yes, bro. don't talk to nobody. So, how you talk to girls for starters. Everything he said is 100% fact because real shit, even if you get her... If you can't pull all that shit together, she gonna leave your ass for a nigga like us. Mm -hmm. And nigga, compliment her. Come on, bro. Compliment her. Be interested in something. Yes. If she got, look, listen. I, she you could see a girl that you like. Compliment her. Hey, I like your hair. Also, I like you your pants you got on. I like your outfit. Because that'll work too. But like, it's a big era of niggas just mass like beating their dick. No, because they don't know how to talk. Yeah, to girl. for sure. So. What you do is you be nice, bro. Nice. Walk on the outside of the street. Open Please. the door for her, bro. Ask her how her day was going. Get her a flower here and there. Ask her, do she like flowers, though? Because I do know some girls who really just don't give a fuck about that shit. They would rather you use that 15 to $30 to go to McDonald's or go to breakfast. And also, don't always have in your mind of if you going to fuck. Because mm. I feel like that's why y'all so bad at getting girls, too, is because you only thinking about, well, if she not going to fuck me, I don't know how else to do it. Just be cool. Just be cool. Be cool. Bro. Just interested <laughs> in her. Chill. Because if she notice, unless she's just like one of them ones yeah. that's just on go, mm -hmm. if she noticed that you just doing shit, like she could feel that you just trying to get to the pussy, like, it ain't going to work. can't feel that, bro. And it's just like, also... 
I don't know, bro. Every girl just be saying chivalry be dying, but like cool shit that's outside of all this like new age, new era ass shit. Like for me, I don't know. I feel like the type of music I listen to when some girl come over at the CME all on Instagram and whatever, because you can make assumptions off the gram. Come over and hear me play a whole Justin Bieber album from top to bottom. She be like, oh shit, like. I done had it all wrong about you know when girls are give you like a backhanded ass compliment like oh you really are I didn't know you would be like mm -hmm. it's like you don't fucking know me but make sure y'all taking care of y'all hair y'all skin y'all nails everything bro smell good um and ask girls about themselves bro I don't yeah. think it's really Show that interest. hard bro yeah like show interest in you the gotta girl. do some wine and dining here and there bro just like it's cool bro. I feel like we all need each other. This whole era is like, fuck these bitches, fuck these niggas. And re in reality, everybody need everybody, bro. But y'all be too weird, or girls is too city girl nowadays that it's just like the whole. I just say all the time the streets just fucked up, bro. I just think the streets fucked up. Go get some fucking money, nigga. Go get some money, though, for real, for real. Um, why are your videos so short? We need more, fam. Bro, listen, I was filming every day for, and he was filming every day also. Bro, y'all have to realize, we actually have lives as well, like, more than what we film. So, if I enjoy my day and not want to hold my camera up or have somebody else hold my camera up, I can do that. Y'all did get a video. So, what if it was one minute? No, that one minute video was that crazy. That was crazy as fuck. That was crazy. <laughs> that, was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. Like, I turned that shit on and it was all. shorts count, though? Like, say I posted a short. That's different. That don't count. A short, it don't. I expect that to be. Yeah, it don't count. Best and worst thing about being in the fashion industry. You're, you're in the fashion industry. You don't think you're in the fashion industry at all. I'm trying to think what the fashion industry is. Yeah, what is, is that? Um, what was the question? Best and worst thing about being in the fashion industry. I don't really know if I'm... I mean, you could put on been, clothes. You could buy clothes whenever you want to. You could put on the fly shit you want yeah. to. You can play in clothes all day long because that's just what you do. It's different spectrums to the fashion industry. But I think when you get a little further in the like, fashion industry, I just think like being black plays a role. Like It's just like anything else. She's cute. I don't have my glasses on. So oh, shit. Know. But I think being black plays a role like... I feel like that could be a hard thing, even though I feel like actually we the most creative, the most funny, like just shit like that. I feel like that plays a role, but I don't really have nothing that's wrong with being in the fashion industry. I think everybody thinking they are weirdos. Like so weirdos. High up there's weirdos in it. There's weirdos in it. That's true. There's weirdos in it. Ooh, I was finna say some shit that there's I There's weirdos in it. Yeah, that's there's true. weirdos in it telling you to do and wear stupid weird the dumb shit <laughs> and y'all not everybody but y'all be taking that shit in and thinking that it's like holy in the bible and shit like yeah that, i mean that, that's that, valid. it's too many people out here and it's some it's the some of the consumers fault too Y'all gotta have a brain of y'all own, my nigga. Maybe that's the. It's so easy. It's so easy, easy for a random person to get on the internet and tell you what you should and should not wear and do in this shit. And then you, you looking at the amount of followers they have and you think that their opinion is valid. So now you just following this nut ass shit that they got y'all doing. Like it's not just one fucking person's opinion. That's I mean, that's the probably. And I think the other thing that's another thing that's bad being in the fashion industry is everybody thinking they so relevant to the fashion industry. Mm -hmm. Like, And everybody fun. thinking they're fucking cool. Not everybody's fucking cool. Shout out Kanye. He said no, that no. shit in the video. Not, Not all you niggas is really cool. Bro, they are cute, bro. I can't see. I'm I assuming know. you're talking about right there, though. Yeah. Yeah, I can't see, though. Um, what's your favorite outfit you put on? My favorite outfit? I don't know if I've even posted my favorite outfit, but I'm going to look... I think my favorite I think my favorite outfits aren't Instagram worthy or whatever, like fit pick worthy. I think a lot of my outfits are like super chill, like Yeah. Super chill. Hold on, let me look though. Just so I can I can't look because I got the questions up. Just so I can give y'all an answer. 
Damn, you lost your phone. You don't even, you're not even I two phones shorty no more. I'm going to just try to find a fucking fit on my page. I hate everything. Fuck life. I ain't going to lie. I liked when I did this fit. I don't know why. I like this fit. Oh, yeah, it was gone as fuck. And my hair was lower, too. Yeah, I like that. I like this fit. I'm going to show y'all. I don't know if y'all can see. Yeah, just let it focus. I'm going to start from the top. This fit was hard. I like that one, too. No cap. It looks so clean and, like... I feel like a day for you gonna come where you really play with some shit that you would never wear. And obviously it's gonna play on the lines of like shit you already do, but it's gonna be like, damn, like. You want me to wear bell bottoms? Nah, you're not tall enough for that. I'm not doing that. I don't know, maybe. I don't know what that outfit looks like. I guess it's probably gonna be like some dressier clothes, because I don't wear dressy yeah. clothes at all. I wear a blazer and shit. Valid. Uh, I should have got on camera with a blazer on and a tie. That's what I want to do. I want to do a fit like that with a blazer, the pants, the tie. Like, this nigga grown. Are we watching him grow up for real? Hey, bro. My camera saying is overheating. You got some ice? No. You got, like, some peas? You got something in the freezer? Just put the camera in the freezer. All right, y'all. I'll be back. Uh, I say my favorite outfit is probably one I did when I first went to Paris. The kiss heels, bell bottoms, light blue bell bottoms, and the baby tee I wore. But maybe I only liked that fit so much because the vibes was just that good. So you breathing hard as shit, boy. So uh, like what's that. the fit? <laughs> Where the fit at? I don't got time. I'll put it on the screen. I don't want this bit to be like it's overheating. What's your final destination in the grave? Um, I'm going to be getting LASIK and the lasers lasers my whole body off. Mm. I think my final destination, I'm going to probably be like, is it, even, it ain't even try. I'm going to just live where I want to. I'm going to have a crib in L.A., New York. I'm going to have one in Paris. And then I'm going to travel the world all the time. Probably have a wife and some kids. Um, and just do shit with my friends whenever I want to do shit with my friends, bro. I'm trying to figure it out, but. I want the G wagon, I think. I want a GLE crew. The final destination is not G wagon, bro. You know it's not. I'm gonna have one already. I don't really know whatever cars and shit that I want, so I'm just saying that in general. But final destination, my mother is good. Never gotta work again. Um, Family never gonna have to worry about nothing. Everybody be fine. I'm gonna be fine. My kids, kids, kids gonna be fine. That's what I'm going for. Yeah, I just sure you're going for the same. Yeah, I gotta live to tell the tale. Type shit. Dev asks, is Clint? Well, I guess they both asked the same shit. It's the same person that asked the same question. He said, but he added more to it. He said, so what's the end goal? Is it money, fame, or reputation? Um, I think it's a lot of all of those for me. But it's also like I'd have a sense of morality where I don't just hold every like money and that's end all be all fame is end all be all i just want to be a good person and my end goal for a hundred percent is i want to be like a social media philanthropist so take all this shit i done made i'm gonna be like mr beast no nah, like mr beast just shit. yeah but not on the scale of that like i just want to post shit on my instagram story or twitter and be like i'm giving away 50k like mm -hmm. tell me why and why you need 50k People list their reasons. I'm sure people are going to be fucking lying on there, but everybody could probably use an extra 50 grand. So, whatever. Um, I could use a good 50 grand right now. Me too. I ain't going to lie. How do you get over feeling stagnant like you're not progressing? You got to answer that. I don't know. <laughs> so that sounds like I asked that question. Uh... I feel like, how you feel like you get over feeling stagnant? Because like, even when I'm doing good, I feel like I'm still not moving. Um, I think that, I feel like you're not progressing. I, I, think I think I know. Just be, just like actually take a step back from everything that you're doing and literally see how far you've come. Because you probably thinking you're stagnant. But you're way ahead of where you was two weeks ago, I'm assuming. Unless you're just a person that just ain't doing shit. But like... Taking a step back from whatever you're doing and realizing how far you come or, like, how better you got at the thing you've been working on or 
even down to not making about money, but looking at your bank account, being like, shit, I got more money than la- the last month, or like, mm-hmm. so it's like taking a step back and seeing like how, like seeing the progression because we so locked in and the shit we doing, you not realizing how much you done did. Yeah, that make that's valid and not just always I'm feeling close like. Close as fuck to this mic too. That shit probably loud as shit. shit. Is that's why I'm holding it like hold it like here. I don't think I understand how good your mic is, so I'm nah, probably thinking it gotta be shit, like this. Bro. You probably have it like you pin it to your shirt. Yeah, that might work. Or it got this in it, bro. You can do this. And put the magnet through there, and then it just hold on. So then you don't gotta touch it. Oh shit. Well, false advertisement. Definitely false advertisement. Anyways. I'm gonna just leave it like that. I feel like just don't be so concerned about how far you need to go in life all the time. Just enjoy the journey, bro. I think that's like some of the best advice that anybody can ever give is enjoy the journey. Yeah. Um, it's not so serious question. Ass or tits? I'm a tits guy, I'm not gonna lie. I don't care for either of them, to be honest. I'm a face, like, I like face. Cause when she take all that makeup and all that bullshit off in the morning, I still wanna be like, ooh, she's so fine. But like, the ass and titties don't do enough for me. I like models, bro. I think it's just face card. Face card gonna get her done. But if I had to choose, I ain't gonna lie, I like, ad, I like, I like, it don't gotta be no BBL <laughs> ass, but like, nah. you could, you could have a little butt, mm. but it's like, perky, hmm, like, because I like to, I like, like the, he converted me. I like to grab some ass, you know what I'm saying, like, like, what if it just fit in your hand, that's what, it's like, nice. perky, yeah, like, maybe I am an ass guy, like, I right, don't get me wrong, I, Shout out to all the itty bitty titty committees out there. But that shit's fire, like. Like I like that. Oh my gosh. No, but I would rather have ass than titties, actually. That's what I'm saying. Cause like the itty bitty committee, like that's just. That's what and I'm then saying. Let's say she don't got no titties, but she got, got a little, little perky little. It just make mean? you even like. See what I'm saying? Actually, you're right. I think I'm an ass guy, mm-hmm. bro. But I don't need you to have no fat ass either. I don't care about none of that shit. You really gotta be bad as long as you bad. Yeah. Ever thought about starting your own brand? No. Have you? Yeah, I'm joining OnlyFans. Type shit. <clears throat> what are your plans for the future? I already answered that one. Favorite place to travel? My favorite place to travel is Paris right now, but for some reason I feel like Bali is going to be amazing for some reason. Um, I like to travel inside of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit, type shit. What are some essential ways to find? <laughs> it's funny because I'm dead ass serious. No, and I know you get that serious. That's the thing that's you got. I'm just like, well, all right. Because I don't need them all to know, but like, fuck. Uh, what are some essential ways to find your style? Find shit that you like, bro. Y'all make having style so fucking hard. But what I will say is proportions matter. That is the only thing that like really matters. If you're shorter, find shit that looks good for shorter people. If you're taller, them baggy jeans ain't gonna be that baggy, bro. And that's just the fact of the matter. So if you don't, you got a problem sagging, just know your shit. Ain't Shout out really short kings. Baggy. Shout out short kings. I'm Fuck not a short king. Is. I'm an average height nigga. I'm not a short king. Fuck that. I'm five ten. Six feet on a good day. Fuck you talking about. Shout out to the short kings, though. You tall niggas is weird. Shout out if you a tall nigga, bro. You know, you can see more shit. The air quality better up here. You know what I'm saying? You can pull off nice shit. Just say, man. That's all I can say. I can do both. Y'all niggas can't do that. Y'all can't wear the jeans I got on right now. I can can wear those right now. You said you average height, didn't you? So why you taking a (laughs) piss? You're right. You're right. Um, how can I be like you? Don't, bro. Honestly, be yourself. Have a good blast. Have a blast. I should make a forest starter kit and sell it in boxes like that. Five hundred for. I'm gonna cut this out. <laughs> but five hundred, some tin, some baggy pants, and some IHP. And I should, and I should just get. I should make like. I should make like ten boxes. 
and just this is the four starter kit. This, this is that's that's a valid this idea. This is the four starter kit. You low key might make hella bread more than you think, mm -hmm. honestly. So four, you, now that it's on camera, you might have to do it for one. Four of the starter things. kit mystery box type shit. What are your motivations? Um, I'm motivated by like where I think I want to go in my life. I'm motivated by my friends. I'm motivated by girls. I think girls is like my biggest motivation in the world. I think I get fly. Yes, I feel good getting fly, but like I get fly because like the bitches. Shout out but, to all the pretty bitches. Yeah, bro. And I, I don't mean the women. women. The women, like. Smell good for There's the some bad women. bitches out Hair there. Hair get good for the women. Carry myself a certain way, the women. Take care of my hygiene, the women. Try and make sure I'm getting all the money in the world. Obviously, to take care of my family and shit, but the women, like... Oh, I don't even want to get into that. My heart started beating off fast mm. and shit. Now, let's see how... Cut this out. No, that's crazy. Now I gotta go in and find... <laughs> Damn, that's why. Cut it off right now. It started over. All right, niggas tripping. <laughs> niggas are tripping. I'm gonna drop, drop my name bomb on here. I'm going for the government too, cause I seen it. Oh, I know. But what style of advice do you have for people who don't spend? What advice do you have for people who don't spend their money on designer but love, but love what? Oh, but st love styling clothes and dressing good. Go thrifting, bro. Oh, do you want to buy designer? No, but just go thrifting, bro. Y'all be making shit like it's not out there. Shout out Depop and Grail. Depop, Depop is hard, Grail, bro. The thrift store. I love Depop more than Grail, too. But I don't know. Find Macari, shit on eBay. eBay. Like, all of that, Poshmark. Bro. You got so many options. Oh, just that find what you shit. like, and it's going to be easy. Or to just do. buy IHP. Type shit. And you would never, ever you not have a good never fit. Never not have a good fit. And that's just the honest to God truth. Style inspirations. I don't really have none. I'm not going to lie. I think some shit just looks cool. So some shit is to try. But I don't have like a person that's like, this is my style inspo. Shout out Kurt Cobain. Anyway. <laughs> um, favorite brand deal or clothing brand? Uh, I'm going to say my favorite brand deal is, it's between, oh, I guess I got to pick one then. You showing one, favoritism? It's not even posted right now, though. Yeah, keep that on the hush. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. It's don't that one. one. I think it's that one, though, because I really put, like, some effort into that shit. How do you maintain your closet? I don't, bruh. My shit be fucked up, and I don't really know what you mean by maintain, but I got clothes everywhere, bro. Probably maintain, like, keeping a bunch Those of clothes, clothes like this, or just buying a bunch of clothes, like, having hard shit in there. Like, good stuff. Never How do you maintain a good, a good wardrobe? <laughs> uh, I'm probably changing I got a job. Question. You are. I don't know, but, like, <laughs> I don't know. I got a job. Like, I work. I maintain or you if you mean like washing clothes or something like I probably have never washed none of my pants, bro. Honestly. Shirts and shit, yeah, pants like unless I waste something on my pants, they probably didn't get washed. But maybe one day I'll take everything to the dry cleaner at once. That bill gonna be high as shit, you think, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh what is Daniel Solomon asks, what is the most what is the most thing Y'all gotta y'all gotta format y'all questions better. What is the most thing you did that got you to where you are in life? And just keep going. I, I kept working myself. and I took that risk. Like this nigga said in songs all the time, you just need to take that risk. Mm -hmm. I think that's the biggest thing in life is be a risk taker. I took risk on risk on risk on risk my whole life. I've been taking the chance. Yeah. Uh, Stan World asks, do you see yourself working with Africa? Because I got some designs I like you to see. So me and him was actually just talking about this. I want to go to like Ghana in December and I want to go to Nigeria because a lot of my like following is out there. So I think that shit would be cool and it'd be cool to experience like home, like real home type shit. Real. But I don't really got too much of an answer as far as that goes. What you think? That was for you. Yeah. 
How do, Shout out Africa. How do you find your location for your flicks and how do you film your reels? Um, location for flicks. Um, if I'm driving around doing like an errand, running errands or doing stuff, if I see a spot that I like, I might take a picture or save the address or something and then later on figure out what fit go right with that. Or I might already have a fit and now I try to scope out what area will look right for this outfit. Um, I'll go walk downtown and shit like that and try to find a spot. Uh, for me, I live in fucking New York. That's I feel like New York has better places to take fit pics and than LA. you can literally take pictures anywhere. Everybody, this is what I'll say. Moving to New York is the cheat code if you want to do, like, fashion content because you can take pictures anywhere because everybody just want to live in New York. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of just like, yeah, but after you pass that threshold, like, you kind of get to where I am and further, like, you be like, mm, I can kind of post any fucking where now. So it's just like, now you start thinking of quality of life, which is why I be talking about moving to L.A. But you just got to find shit that look nice. Honestly, it's not that hard. How do you film your reels? Um, I don't give a fuck. So that's really that answer. I don't care about my background. Don't care about. I just put my camera up. Make sure it's clean, obviously. Like, but if it's a hanger or some clothes in the background, I'm sure all of y'all got clothes and hangers in the background too, and it make it more personable and relatable. But how do you? What are you doing? But how do you? <laughs> But how do you film and edit them? Like, how does that work? What apps and stuff do you use I to use do it? I use CapCut, and I use my iPhone at 4K, 60 frames per second. And that's really How long it. does it usually take you to edit a reel? It depends on how long the reel is. So say I'm like average reel. And fucking up. Let's just say my average reel, three minutes. It'd probably take me, like, if I stay on it, because I get sidetracked easily. But if I stay on it, it'd probably take me... Uh, probably 10 minutes tops, 15. Nah, it'd probably take me 8 to 10 minutes. Mm. Should be easy. Can you, in your next video, show us how you make an Instagram reel? No. I don't. I can't promise y'all that. I just like living life now, y'all. I, I don't, like, try so hard to film shit. Well, figure it out. Figure it out. I gave y'all. I believe in you. I don't, but no, nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But uh, how tall are you? Six. I'm six three. This nigga's a liar, bro. I'm six three though. I was, hey. I'm six three. All right. Well, at four is six three, I'm six seven. All right. You've been saying you're moving. I want to move to LA, and also I think this nigga is my best friend, and we like complete. We complete opposite but the same, which is why it's so good of a, like, combination of niggatry. Combination. Because he, like, introverted. I'm extroverted. I wish these niggas would shut the fuck up. But he's introverted. I'm extroverted. And we just have a good-ass time. And when it comes to, like, missions or trying to talk to girls, we just a good team, bro. It's a good, it's a good balance of team. Little do y'all know, man. This guy's Forrest. Forrest is a good guy, man. I'm not a good guy. Me either. CJ's a good guy. Thanks, man. I'm such a nice guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> what made you get into fashion? When Rocky dropped Peso, I think that was like, damn, this shit hard as fuck. Like, look at these. This shit hard. So, probably Rocky Peso. <laughs> what made me get into fashion? Like, I've always been fly, but that was like, damn, this shit hard for real. I don't even know what made me get into fashion. I just feel like I just, I always just wanted to I think it's dress. Oh, oh, I was into shoes. I was a big sneakerhead. Hmm. And, like, I used to stand in, stand outside in lines for all the Jordans. I used to buy Mad Jeremy same, Scott's, like, same. everything. And then one day I realized I had no clothes to wear with my shoes because the school I went to, we wore uniforms. So that's why I was buying shoes oh, all the time. Nice. Yeah. So. Oh, me too, though. So then eventually I looked in my closet and I was like, I have nothing to wear with these shoes. So then that's when I started going to get clothes. Facts. Um, uh, where is the baby jacket hoodie in your story? I'm dropping them hoes soon. I don't know when, cause I ain't even got started on them, but they look cool. I like them. Um, where do you want to achieve? What do you want to achieve in the next five years? I want to be like the biggest like 
one of the biggest creators and shit that I could possibly be, but I don't really have like a set goal of where I, what I want to achieve. I want to walk somebody runway, like a real runway Paris Fashion Week. Uh, yeah, it'd be cool to walk Rick. Um, I kind of want like, bro, and this is like hella Missouri in me, but I want like some a kid, bro. How old I, five years, I'd be my age. 28. I'm not 28, but. Mm. I don't know if I want kids by then, but I think so. If everything financially looking good and I got like one of them ones, I'd do it for sure. As long as she with it. Because I do like her. A lot. A lot. A lot. Like. My heart beating fast as shit. And that shit is so rare. I don't even mean to segue this, but that shit's so rare. Cause like, I don't be liking people like that, bro. But like, this girl got a fucking like, if she decided she wanted to like, I don't even know what I was finna say. But like, bro, she got a hold on me, bro. Will we ever so get to weird. meet this mystery girl? I fucking hope so, shit. I hope so. I do hope so, but we'll see, bro. I don't know. Shout out to this mystery girl. Shout out to mystery girl. I don't know girl, who you're talking bro. about. He does not know, actually. Uh, how did you get into the position where you are today? Keep going. How open are you to doing collaboration with artists you don't know? I'm not really that open to it, but if they're doing, like, equal or better than me or, like, I don't know. It depends. This personal relationship is not really about opportunity for me, honestly. What about you, bro? Like, how open are you with, to collabing with people you don't know? Um, if I don't know you, I'm not doing nothing. We gotta get to know each other first. Type shit, so I can see if I. It has to be like, like a you. mutual interest within each other. Facts. The rise. Actually, I'm gonna ask that question last. What was life like before you moved to New York, and how was New York when you first got there? I forgot the camera turned off. I was like, we answered this yeah, already. Yeah, I know. Yeah, damn. But New York, was, or my life before then, I was playing football. Uh, I was kind of a bad kid. I was getting in trouble when I was younger, but not like nothing too crazy. Just some St. Louis-ass ghetto shit, per usual. Uh, after that, I went to a private school. That was fine. Started playing football. And I don't know, I was living a normal life. Decided I was dropping out when I moved to New York. New York was cool. I moved there with a girl. Um, I would tell y'all to never do that unless you really just know. Like, You're you really, really just know. know. I mean, you can feel kind of. You probably of. thought you was going to be with that girl for a long time. Like a very I long could, time. Very long, like from then to now. So that's 20... 20 to now, I don't think so. I kind of start getting like this feeling like, bro, damn, should I just talk about it? Start getting this feeling like, bro, when you do this content creator shit and your partner does not do this shit, and let's say she got a normal job or like she got to do labor for real, like labor as in like, let's say she's a model and got to get up and go to castings and go here and people tell her no to her face and all this like, just shit like that while I'm at home playing the game, smoking weed, film a video, post it on Instagram, get likes and shit. Oh, get a brand deal. I don't even talk to the people that gave me the brand deal. I just go film some shit and go by my day. I feel like that can so make sense. you want somebody, a girl that's I want a doing the same thing creator. you're doing? I really want to fuck with a content hey, creator. Content creator, ladies, you heard him. Mystery girl. I don't know I who that is. Mystery girl. That's honestly all. One day I'll meet her. Oh, I hope so. But New York was cool when I first got there. I was chilling, um, eating bacon, egg, and cheese and shit. I was broke, so I was eating those to the point where, like, now I don't even like bacon, egg, and cheese for real at all it's just no good more. As shit. They're really not that good. I would rather have eggs, bacon, and pancakes or waffles. Can you get, like, a waffle, egg, and cheese? McGriddle. I'd rather have a McGriddle over a bacon, egg, and cheese. It's the same thing, though. No, it's not. It's just not bread. It's and the bread pancake. is, like, syrupy already. Shout out, McGriddles. Uh, how do you budget being an influencer? We good. We should be able to rock out unless it stop. But go ahead. How Take you care of your responsibilities first and then buy 
stuff at moderation. Yeah, I don't really have no budget. I just make sure I can pay my rent for the next month or two. After that, it's free range. Do whatever the fuck you want. Like, why is doing that? It say it's hot, then it don't say it's hot. Like, I don't get it. It's hot. Bitch is scorching. <laughs> On the push New York. What were difficult obstacles you had to overcome to get where you at now? Huh? What was obstacles, difficult obstacles you had to overcome to get where you are now? Not to be that guy of depression. I had to get over depression. And I had to get over uh, my parent wanting me to do something that I didn't want to do anymore. And understanding like this is my life I got to live so at some point I had to realize like are you gonna live life for somebody else or for yourself real shit so I had so to get over that when they pass away then what now you didn't build all this shit up and then you don't even like what you actually it's a lot want. of people out here who doing shit they don't they like don't want to do but um I did push New York in I was playing football and shit like that a difficult obstacle I had to overcome was like Am I really finna do this shit? I was always being a creative. And my mom, obviously, you know, everybody parents want you to go get a job, want you to do this. Um, St. Louis, you an athlete, you a rapper, or you probably doing some bad shit you shouldn't be doing. And um, I dropped out. My obstacles, I fell out with my mom for like a while. Like me and my mom just got back cool recently. Because, I mean, it seems like she can see I'm doing fine. She's doing fine. Uh, but when I dropped out, we ain't talked for like two or three years. Like, really? Like, be talking? But I don't know. That and dealing with, like, outside criticism. But I learned early on, and I got this from my mom. Like, I don't give a fuck what nobody think about shit I'm doing. Because it's just like, nigga, it's not you. So why you worry so much? Honestly, like... I don't know. People be on weird ass shit, but do you wear pieces that are nice but still uncomfortable? Yes. Like my kiss heels and other shit, but I go for coziness. Oh, yeah. And the Margellas, but like some shit, it's just new. Mm -hmm. So you got to allow shit to break in. So there's some uncomfortable shit, but I'm not really, you know, doing the most. Um, How did you get on to pause? CJ told me to get on there. Yeah, I did. Force me, actually. I did force him. I put it. Actually, his neck. really forced me to yeah. do it. And then with me, like I got on pause. I was but shout another, out pause, no cap. I, I was in another agency called Cast. They signed me at 15k. Another 15k later, I joined another agency, uh, which was Pause. And Pauls was cool and shit like that, but um, yeah, just posting content, being you know authentic, having a good time and shit, not really trying so hard to go so viral, because that shit don't really take you nowhere. Even if you are going so viral, you don't have a real audience, you just a viral hitter, which I mean, do as you please, but want to let y'all know, I am not in Pauls no more, I have... I've weathered away. I'm done with pause. I'm on a new agency now. I'm gonna clap it up for myself because I feel good about this. But yeah, shout out pause. It was good while it was good. I don't got nothing too bad to say. Uh, if I do, I'll make another video, which I am thinking about making. But there ain't nothing bad going on. So it's all good, baby. You feel me? I'm still in pause. Shout out pause. No cap. Shout out pause. It was good while I was there. I just feel like I've grown. That's all I can say. Why did you quit football? I didn't really like football that much. I just liked what came with playing football. I just wanted to be like that guy. Like it was cool, the likes, the people coming to your football games because you the littest in the city at the sport or one of the littest. Um, but yeah, I like when I got to college, you realize everybody good. You gotta do a lot of politicking and dick riding to play. I don't work well in systems, so I just, I wasn't really me. I'm a real good people person, so shit. Um, yeah, that's really it. Started like throwing parties in college and shit like that, and I realized like, damn, I could do something with this, making clothes. I was making sure I wasn't trying to get hurt all the time. So I don't know. It made me quit because I didn't like the shit that much. My life, like people be asking me, would you go back? I think my life way way cooler now than like what I was doing because I didn't want to do that shit. Niggas wake up and getting called a pussy at 5 a.m. by coaches and shit. That ain't even just me, but if y'all play sports, y'all know. What about you, buddy? I played football before. 
But I just didn't want to be in school no more. Make a long story short, I didn't want to be in school no more. Mm-hmm. So I just stopped everything and dropped out. Yeah. And went to take another path. Also, I don't think school is the wave no more either. And I didn't want to be this person, but... Honestly, if you want to do anything creative and don't go to, like, Juilliard or some shit or, like, FIT where you actually got to learn how to, like, cut and sew clothes and all that, bro, I don't want to be this guy. And don't show y'all parents this video, but I say drop out. Or don't go, actually. So say your family saved you up some money for college and shit, and you like, oh, I just graduated high school. Go spend don't it on Balenciaga. What he said. Sorry, no. <laughs> Go spend it on Balenci. But uh, if it seems like we answering these questions already, fa- like, fast, it's because my dumbass um, deleted the footage early on when we was really giving great answers. So we just tired of On that Porsche New York in? You still trying to find young Jordan? This is what I'm telling you. Four is really not an introvert. I just need y'all to know that. This is all a facade for the internet. Y'all see these random spurts of excitement. See, you didn't expose yourself. I'm, nigga. An, I'm not an extrovert <laughs> <laughs> at all. Uh, but yeah, I don't really want to answer no more of these shits because I'm kind of tired video. of making it. This video, this clip right here is 20 minutes. I want your pole, and I need to go to Staples. Yeah, but hey, y'all, this was the video. I hope y'all have a good fucking day. Smile, bro. Love each other. Have fun. Make sure you take care of the women in your life. Girls are everything, I think. Um, and take care of the homies, bro. And shout out God. And shout out God. Bye. Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs>